In this video, we're going to be talking about how to play the Black Templars in Warhammer 40,000 10th edition. My name's Jake Harding from Vanguard Tactics. I'm here joined with Michael Casello. Michael, how are you? I am well, thank you. Good. Uh, the Black Templars are a very interesting army. So in, in the lore, they're a chapter of Space Marines, um, and they're, they're spacefaring, so they're all aboard spaceships. And they go on these big crusades, um, and they hate psychic things, beings. Um, yeah, so they're, they're like a more like zealous um, sort of faction in the Space Marine chapters. I like that. I've, I, I'm a massive fan of Black Templars, as may long-time VT viewers will know of mm -hmm. my affiliation with them. We even played a game with them once. We and, did. And I loved yeah. it. But we've got to talk about them in terms of gaming. Yes. I can't talk about my love for them all, for the whole video. No, um, so let's start at the top. Yep. What is their faction rule, Michael? All right, their faction rule, they are Space Marines, uh, and they have the faction rule Oath of Moment. Very good. Okay, so what this means is in your command phase, you're going to pick one enemy unit, and then all of the rest of your army, so all of your army, is going to reroll hits and wounds against that unit. So you could reroll your successful hits, you could reroll your failed hits, um, and likewise with wounds. Yeah, so it's nothing special there. They don't have a different one, but they are they just have the same one. The, the same space one as Space Marines. Yeah. But, yes. Which is still fantastic. It's isn't excellent. It? Yeah. Um, yeah, Black Templars are an army that will focus more on melee. A yeah. lot of the units are more melee focused, um, but there are some shooting assets you can put in there uh, to fully make use of both at the moment. Yeah, fantastic. Right, so now let's go into the detachment ability because this is slightly different to your normal Space Marines. Mm -hmm. This is something that makes them unique. Yes. And, and what is that? Uh, so, the Black Templars, at the start of the game, can choose one of four different vows. Oh. Okay, uh, and this gives them an ability during the rest of okay. the game. Right, Michael, so tell me about these vows, the detachment ability right. thing. The first one is suffer not the alien to live. Okay. Okay, they don't like aliens, no. much like the rest of the Imperium. Oh. Uh, and what this does is it means that in melee, you gain the lethal hits special rule. Okay. Which means any of your critical hits, that's your sixes to hit, your unmodified sixes, and will automatically wound the target. You don't need to roll a wound. Yeah, which is pretty decent, you know, into your higher toughness armies such as your yep. Imperial Knights, Knight Chaos Knights, all that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. um, these are going to be, that's going to be probably really yeah. good, right? Yeah. Exactly, um, exactly. Nice exactly. one. And so what's the next one? The next one is Uphold the Honour of the Emperor. Ooh, okay. These all have really long names, but yes. I'm doing my best, guys. Um, so this one... Uh, it gives your units the Feel No Pain 6 Plus uh, ability. Okay, nice. Yeah. 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 And, also, and ooh, okay, there's another bit. And you get a leadership characteristic of 5 Plus instead of 6 okay, Plus. Okay, so well. Across the Space Marine Army, it's usually 6 Plus. Yeah, and we can see how devastating Battleshot can be. Yes. So having that 5 Plus could actually be super useful. Yeah, I, I think it, this is um, probably the go to. Yeah. Uh, anything defensive is, is usually very strong because you, you're going to get this all the time. Mm. Um, yeah, so I really like this one. I really like this oh. one. Okay. okay, nice one. The next one is Abhor the Witch. Oh, okay. Okay, uh, and what this does is it gives you a four plus invulnerable save yeah. against psychic attacks. Okay, cool. Not bad. Very good, yeah. Yeah, um, and all of your melee attacks have the anti-psyker four plus ability. Okay. Which means <laughs> That's very good. that any of your fours to wound in melee count as sixes to wound, so they're always successful. Mm -hmm. Uh, and in addition, will trigger anything that triggers on a critical wound for six. Amazing. So that is really good. If you can get something like devastating wounds in the army, it would make all of those fours count as sixes mm. for devastating wounds. That would be pretty cool. Yeah. It does only work in melee. Yeah, but still, that's really good. Like, it is. obviously, we've got armies are kicking about like Grey Knights and Thousand Sons. Mm -hmm. So maybe that could be like your little toolbox piece that you have for your army. Yeah. Um, yeah, really strong there. Massive fan of that. Yeah. Um, and what's the final one? Right. The final one is accept any challenge, no matter the odds. Okay. All right. Uh, and this one is also very, very good. Um, it gives you the sustained hits one uh, ability in melee. Okay, so again, a very good, so exploding sixes to hit, so That's every, right, every yeah. critical hit, you get an additional hit that you don't yeah. have to roll for, you just have to roll the wound for. Really good. I yes. think, think they're all solid, to be honest. I think probably my favourite one, actually, is that last one. I think yeah, the last good. one's very, very good. Um, once we come on to some of the enhancements and stratagems, you'll start to see how you can play around <laughs> with some of these, uh, and of course, some of the characters. Um, but yeah, very, very flexible toolbox. Yeah, no, I like them. Yeah. So um, let's talk about the stratagems. All right. 
But before we continue, I'd like to give a quick shout out to our sponsor, The Outpost. If you're looking for a great deals on your miniatures, paints and gaming supplies, we've got you covered. Their wide variety of exceptional service makes them the go-to destination for all hobby needs. So don't wait, check out The Outpost today. Link in the description below. So Michael, tell me about these stratagems. All right, the first stratagem is Fervent Acclamation. Now you use this in your command phase and you'll pick one of your units and you can apply one of the vowels to that unit instead of one that's currently active. Okay, so pretty really solid. Yeah, let's say you've chosen maybe sustained hits one, the accept any odds uh, vowel, yeah. uh, and you're fighting now a Psyker unit. You could opt for Abhor the Witch on that unit instead. Mm -hmm. um, and then you get your anti psyker which means when you're fighting that Psychic unit, your fours to hit are gonna be your, your critical wounds. Okay. So you make your unit much better against that specific thing. Because some armies will have maybe just one or two Psyker units. Yeah. Um, but, so you might want the leverage of the sustained hits more. Yeah, I like that. That's a nice little flexible part. It also allows you to use more than one vow in a game. Yeah. So rather than you you know, being lumbered with that choice, you've know, you, you got a bit of flexibility there. Really like Absolutely. that. Um, Absolutely. So what's the next one? Devout Push. Ah, oh, favourite of mine. I liked this one in um, the previous edition. Yeah. You're going to notice a theme here. This one's to do with, with movement. So... After a Black Templar's unit has been shot and lost one or more models, okay. you can then make a normal move with that unit of D6 inches. Okay. Nice. If the Abhor the Witch vow is active oh, for no. your army, oh, no. okay, for your army, so not just for that unit, yeah. um, you can make a normal move of six, so flat six, towards either the unit that shot you yeah. um, or the closest enemy psyche unit. So in both cases, you have to move towards the unit that shot you. Yeah. Um, but in the second case, Abhor the Witch, you can move towards the closest psych unit instead. Very good. Yeah, That's it's pretty good. Very good. It's pretty yeah. good. <laughs> Extra movement is always handy yeah. uh, in Warhammer 40k. Yeah, especially, yeah. you know, you can predict certain things. And yeah, exactly, exactly. And get a move block on or you know, yeah. block a charge that you didn't want to happen. Yeah. Very yeah. decent, that. Yeah. Um, so let's talk about a few more stratagems. So the next one is no escape. All right, now it's one command point. Uh, and if an enemy unit that is not a monster or vehicle mm -hmm. starts a fallback move from one of yours, um, you can use this stratagem, yes. and on a 4+, plus, they can't fall back. They have to remain stationary. Okay, very good. Vast, very, very strong. Yeah, really good. Yep. Um, now, it's a 3+, plus if your army has taken the vow for accept any challenge no matter the odds. Okay. 3+, plus to stop someone from falling back from these... Very strong melee units is excellent. Uh, and in either case, if you don't roll the four or the three, um, your enemy unit has to take, the enemy unit has to take uh, desperate escape tests, which means they'll have to roll dice for each unit that's falling, each model that's falling back. And on a one, um, somebody dies yeah. to remove a model. Decent. <laughs> Pretty good. You get Very an effect decent. either way, which yeah. I like. Which is, um, yeah, amazing. Like, it would always yeah. be a feel bad when you spent that one CP, mm. couldn't get that four plus, and, yeah. you know, and then you have essentially felt like you wasted it. Yeah. Whereas now, even if you don't get that, there's still a cool side. So, yeah, really like that. Yeah. Very strong. Next is Armour of Contempt. Um, now, if you're a Space Marine fan, um, then I suggest you definitely check out the uh, How to Play Space Marines video that we've already done. Um, which hopefully you have if you're going to play Black Templars, because they can take a lot of the same units. Yeah. Um, so if you haven't watched it yet, definitely go and watch that. Um, they have the same stratagem in their index as well. So okay. Armour of Contempt. Mm -hmm. Whenever one of your units is targeted, you can spend one command point, and you reduce the incoming AP um, of any of the attacks uh, by one. Decent. Again, very yeah. good. You know, we, we said that in the Space Moon video. Anything that manipulates AP is super strong. Yes. Um, so definitely a very useful stratagem there. Yeah. So AP one attack reduced to AP zero. Yeah. So fantastic on your higher armor saves, of course, um, and lower AP weapons. Awesome. Yeah. All right. So the next stratagem is called Vicious Repost. Nice one. All nice right. one. Yeah. So this is one command point. Yeah. Okay. Um, now, when any of your models uh, in melee are killed and you have to remove them from the board, roll a dice on a four plus. That model can fight before you remove it. Okay. So, again, if we were to refer to our Space Marine video mm -hmm. we did, which, again, if you haven't checked that out, um, they have a similar stratagem for 2CP, yes. but it's automatic. That's right. But this being 1CP and on a 4+, plus, arguably, is still, a, is still good. Uh, and I think for um, Black Templars, it's very, very strong oh, uh, when we start so. to see some of these units uh, in play. Uh, now, we do need to also mention that if you take the vow, uphold the honour of the Emperor, 
Um, it's actually on a three plus instead. Oh, nice one. Okay. One CP to fart and death on a three up if you're in that vowel. That's pretty good. That's another reason potentially to take the feel no pain vowel upon yeah. the honor. So, Michael, what is the last stratagem then? The last stratagem is Crusader's Wrath. Okay. And this gives you an extra AP in melee. Nice. Which is super strong, as we've said, uh, manipulating AP. And then if you take the vowel, suffer not the aliens live. Okay, nice. You get plus one strength on your attacks as well. Okay, cool. So, again, a whole other reason to have these vowels. And again, like we said at the start, of doing these stratagems it is if your army has this that's right you can't use the stratagem to count as being an about and then use this to also count that that's well. right which is different to the space Green index yeah so just be very clear on the wording of yeah these so stratagems. make sure you always read those yeah. um awesome so now we talked about those i guess we could move into some enhancements yeah let's do it nice the very first enhancement is perdition's edge all right uh, and this is the bearer only only affects the bearer it doesn't affect the unit mm -hmm. uh, and what they do is they get plus one to their ap and strength on their melee weapons Nice. Uh, and then if the suffer not the unclean to live, yeah. I have been saying suffer not the aliens to live. I'm a Death Watch player at heart, so yeah. that's where that's come from. Um, but suffer not the unclean to live is the name of the vowel. Uh, so if that's active, you get plus one attacks on your melee weapon as well. Okay, cool. Nice. So nice little buff to uh, one of your characters. It doesn't scream at me for like an auto take. Um, mm -hmm. But the good thing about these pointed enhancements is that um, if you've got points for it at the end of the, you know, choosing your army, stick it in. Yeah, exactly. No, I, I definitely am, I'm, agree with that. You All know, right. some of them are an auto include that, that you may see, yeah. but others are just there to fill gaps. Yeah, nice. Yeah, absolutely. Well, let's have a look at the next one. So, Michael, the next enhancement is Witch Seeker bolts. And what's that do? Uh, okay, so bearer only once again, uh, and it gives you the precision, the anti psycho four plus, and the devastating wounds special rules onto your ranged attacks. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So let's go through that combo. Yeah. So precision means that if you successfully wound a target, you can allocate that wound to a character that is visible. Nice. Okay. okay yeah. Good. Cool. Uh, the next one, anti psycho four plus. Um, as I think we've covered already, that means your four pluses against a psycho unit um, will count as a six to wound. Again, fantastic. This now stacks with devastating wounds, which means on sixes to wound, so fours against a psycho. Yeah. You're going to do the damage of your weapon. Um, as mortal wounds yeah. instead. That's pretty cool. Yeah. And if the abhor the witch, um, destroy the witch vow is active, uh, then you get to reroll hits and wounds against psychers as well. Psycho units are with this ranged weapon as well. Very decent, that. It's cool. Yeah. It's cool. I think um, there's, you're going to have to look hard for some characters that can really mm. make use of this. Uh, as we mentioned, Templars are a pretty melee orientated army. Yeah. Um, but I'm sure there's someone out there. Um, one of these characters that has got some fancy uh, gun that will make the most of this. <laughs> make the most of this. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Yeah. All right. So, next enhancement. The next enhancement, the third one, is Sigismund's Seal. Okay. Uh, this gives plus one attack to the bearer, nice. which is okay. Um, but if the accept any challenge, no matter the odds, vow is active for your army, then you also give the unit they're leading critical hits on fives. Decent. That's pretty good. Yeah. Remember that except any challenge gives you sustained hits one. Yeah. Which means that any of your fives to hit with that unit are going to be an additional hit. Yes. So <laughs> we start to see uh, some nastiness coming in here. No, I definitely, I definitely rate that. Definitely yeah. rate that. That's that, pretty good. That's the one that leaps out at me. So I'm, yeah. I'm yeah. That, that's good. Well, I did. I like this last one, Jake. Okay. Tannhauser's bones. Yeah. Okay. Uh, now it halves damage for the bearer. Mm -hmm. Alright, that's that's the thing it does for the model that has it. And then if the uphold the honour of the Emperor vow is active, then it also gives the unit they're leading the Feel No Pain 5 plus ability. Cool. Well, halving damage is very good anyway. It's, yeah. Um, then obviously having the ability for the Feel No Pain is yeah. just even better, right? So I think that is also quite fantastic and may even be a reason to take that vowel even more so yeah right? i think exactly i think when you're looking at making your army and picking your enhancements just think am i going to mainly go for um uphold the honor of the emperor for the, the feeling of pain yeah if i am then i want to build into this enhancement and give one of my units feeling of pain five plus yeah. or you go for the sustained hits and you probably take sigismund's seal for exploding fives so additional hits on fives for your unit yeah. Yeah, have a think about that when you're writing your Black Templars list. Awesome. So I guess with all the enhancements done, mm -hmm. let's talk about some of the actual units the Black Templars can take. Yeah. 
And now for a word from our sponsor, C Studios. They are the experts in providing professional miniature painting services, ensuring your armies always look their best on the battlefield. Whether you're a seasoned veteran or just starting out, C Studios can help bring your miniatures to life. Don't miss out on their quality craftsmanship. So, Michael, mm -hmm. characters and units. You're a character, I'm the unit. But let's see what these ones do. Okay. So, talk me through, what's the first one actually? What's the first right. one you want to tell so me about? So, I think we should talk about the backbone of the Black Templar's army. Okay. Okay, and this is the Primaris Crusader Squad. Nice. All right, so this unit can be up to 20 strong. Wow. A space, space marine, marine unit. Space unit of up to 20. Okay. okay. Uh, it comes with a sprinkling of uh, neophytes, which are kind of like um, the scouts, but they're fighting alongside. They're like learning um, how to go and kill things and their vows and stuff. Quite intense, isn't um, it? Like I say. <laughs> then there's some initiates, which are in actual power armor, and a sword brother leads the squad. Um, these guys can reroll their advance and charge rolls. Wow, okay. Which is very nice. It still works if a character joins them. Um, they do also have the scout special rule. So, scout six. However, Oh. Um, you do need both the character, so you need the whole unit to have that special rule oh, okay. in order to benefit from it. So if Ooh. you're going to attach some of the other characters that don't have scout, um, you won't be able to use that rule. Still great though. Great though, if you run these on their own, yeah. um, they're just going to be moving up the table take, at like, the start of the game. So. Big 20 man bricks just yeah. waddling up yeah. before yeah. anything gets to start. Yeah. So yeah, so scouts, you can move at the start of the game uh, yeah. and they'll go six inches after you've determined who's going first. Nice. Um, which is fantastic. Uh, you can take a couple of power fists in the unit, um, or you can take flamers, um, and they're mostly kitted out with chain swords and that kind of thing. So these guys have OC2. Nice. Which is very good on a space marine unit. So that means that when you add up who's got the highest level of control on an objective, um, it's going to be two per crusader. Mm. Okay, and there's 20 of them. So you've got a potential on an objective, if you can fit them all on, of an OC of at least 40. Oh my. <laughs> Oh my, <laughs> that is, yeah, that's really right. good. Okay, so we mentioned there's a bun bunch of buffs um, for uh, characters, like if they're leading a unit, um, <laughs> you know, with some of these enhancements. Okay. Um, if there's 20 models in that unit, that buff is going a long way. Yes, a 100%. A very long way. You're looking at like 80 or something attacks from 20 Crusaders. Yeah. Um, so getting exploding fives on them, yeah. um, or even 20, that's 40 wounds of Space Marine. For that five up field of pain. For that five up of pain. So um, if you're looking at Black Templars, these are rock solid units that will be the core of your army. I love that. I'm so yeah. happy that they are as well, because yeah. they are the most iconic unit for they the are. army, right? They are, yeah, yeah. Amazing. Um, let's talk about another iconic unit, but not a character. We'll come to those afterwards, um, which is the Primaris Sword Brethren. These guys are great. Um, they come in with three wounds instead of two. Okay, so uh, they're like space yeah, veterans. Or, yeah, like yeah. veterans. They're a bit tougher. They're, they're sort of similar to uh, blade guard veterans okay. um, from the, the space marines. Um, okay, so these guys have a really cool rule in the fight phase. Right. So they can choose to either have plus one attacks on their melee weapons. Okay. Or plus one damage on their melee weapons. O okay. And... So they're two damage. They're two damage base. So they'll so go up to three, three damage, damage on all of their attacks. Wow. Uh, and these guys are punching. These guys have got like four Not attacks me. with their <laughs> no. four attacks with their relic yeah. swords. Yeah. Um, AP two two damage hitting on twos as well. Unbelievable. Uh, yeah, these guys are really strong. Really, yeah. really strong unit. Um, and I think probably my favourite one in the Black Templars index. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm just a bit taken back that, <laughs> that they can have a flat free damage on their yeah. weapons. Uh, you can run them in 10, 10, ten man units yeah. as well. Yeah. So wow, just really? You can, you, there's it one. Waltz in, oh. three wounds each. Uh, <laughs> stick a character in with that enhancement for exploding five. Fives oh my. With your damage three weapons. Yeah. And, uh, and they, somebody's probably going to cry. And the other thing is, as well, they take up one space in the transport, right? Because they're not like a Gravis or a Terminator. No, exactly. So they can go in a Land Raider, Repulsor, or anything yeah. like that. Ooh, okay, they're good. Okay. These guys are real good. May have to be looking at my own mm. army and going, these seem cool. Yeah, pretty cool. <laughs> and to be fair, the models for them are beautiful as well. They are amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. So. All right. Well, let's take a look at one of the big names. Uh, of the Black Templars. Yeah. We'll have a look at the chapter master himself, the High Marshal, um, Helbrecht. 
Let's take a moment to appreciate Colourforge, our fantastic sponsor. Their range of spray paints has become our go-to for making our miniatures come to life quickly and efficiently. The quality and variety of colours they offer are truly unmatched, providing a smooth application for stunning effects every time. Check out Colourforge for your next hobby project. Hellbrecht is a solid character for the Black Templars. Um, so he hits really hard in combat, um, six attacks, strength eight, AP three, three damage. So he can yeah, do some damage. Yeah. Um, and there's the core stratagem epic challenge as well, um, which is perfect for him because he will definitely kill characters. Um, that one lets you get precision on your attacks. So that's pretty nasty. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. So he can lead any of the Black Templar units. So he can lead the Crusader squads. He could lead our beloved sword brethren. Yeah. Uh, our primary <laughs> sword brethren. Uh, and he gets two special rules. So the first one he'll apply to his unit which is plus one strength on their melee attacks. So their melee weapons. Cool. Yeah, very nice. decent. Yeah, yeah really, really good helps there. Uh, with the wound table. Yeah. Um, and then his other ability, well, well, it's actually the second part to that ability. Oh, okay. Which means that their critical hits are scored on fives. Wow, okay. So you don't even need well, that you, enhancement. But well, equally, you could have that enhancement yeah. in another unit. Yeah. Uh, oh, wow, okay. <laughs> He's, so, uh, yeah, he's pretty, he's pretty good, isn't he? So you could have him with the Sword Brethren, giving them the uh, potential uh, sustained hits on fives. Yeah. And then you could have a different character with um, 20 Crusaders getting potential extra hits on, on, on fives. Um, yeah, he's, um, he's great. He, uh, he's uh, probably the nice, in my opinion, he's one of my favourite Space Marine models as well. Yeah, he's very Super cool. iconic. Yeah. He looks the part, and I'm so glad that it seems like he has the rules to fit the part as well. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. But it doesn't end there. He's got, it's, it's he's not got over. a second whole ability oh my. called High Marshal. And what's that? So, at the start of the fight phase, you pick an enemy unit in engagement range, and you roll a dice. Okay. Okay, so on a two to three, they take D3 mortal wounds. On a four to five, they take three mortal wounds. Right. And on a six, they take D3 plus three mortal wounds. It's what, just because his job roll? I, <laughs> I, I don't know. I am a manager. Frankly. <laughs> <laughs> Bang! Like <laughs> six mortal wounds. <laughs> that is super good. Wow. Yeah, he's, okay. He's, like even just to do D three more wounds, right? Yeah. Like on a two up after you know while he's in engagement rate. That yeah. is incredible. Yeah. Um, something to note about him as well, which is probably more like a little nuance, is mm. he's got a big base. Oh, yes. Right. And well, I'll let you take this one, Michael, because you can okay. be able to explain it better. But so I'm going to let is, you talk yeah, about it. This is an excellent point, and this yeah. is a very um, this is one of those nuances. Mm. Uh, and for more nuances, obviously, we've got our academy, we've got yeah. all of our courses, which we go over. Um, some real tactical stuff. Uh, but this guy, uh, Helbreth, has a bigger base. Now, what that means is that when he joins a unit um, and charges, mm -hmm. you can fight through your allies in yeah. your unit if you're in base contact with them and they're in base contact with the enemy. Mm. Um, he's on a 60 mil base. It's pretty big. Uh, and, yeah. you know, Crusaders are on 32s. Yeah. Um, that's a bit smaller, a fair bit smaller. Mm. So what that means is you can fit more of those Crusaders around Helbrecht's base. Which means you can get more models fighting through Helbrecht. Let's say there's like a narrow corridor of fighting. Yeah. Helbrecht can stand in the front and you get a bunch of guys fighting through yeah. it using his base. So, yeah. I yeah. think it's something very important to note just how it's you a, can, yeah. you know, in, in this, like, you know, these types of videos, obviously, not only do we want to tell you about the army, we also want to give you some tips. And but not too many. No, no, no. Not too many. No, that you have to go down to we have the, to link save the, the good the, stuff. Uh, link in the description for more. But yeah. that is just one of them. And I think. Another a testament to, I think he's probably in every list, right? For I, Black Templars. I mean, how could you not? He's the, he's the high marshal. He's the high marshal. And he'll, he'll do take more wounds. wounds. Yeah, exactly. If you don't take him. Nice one. Um, um, yeah. But there is one other character. There is one other... That you're quite up on. Uh, yeah, yeah. Chaplain Grimaldus. Yeah, so the other named character in the Black Templars as That's well. right. That's right. And he comes with his servitor friends. Nice. So, Jake, you thought Helbrecht was good. Grimaldus is on another level. Okay. okay, I'm I'm nervous um, for this, but I'm so, also excited. He's okay on his own. He's not quite as much of a powerhouse yeah. himself. Um, he does have Fiona Pain 5+, plus, yeah. which is really cool. Um, now, he has three abilities he can choose from in yeah. the command phase to buff his unit. Okay. So the unit that he's leading. And he can lead Sword Brethren, Primaris Crusaders, that kind of thing. Okay. Um, one of them okay. allows his unit to advance and still charge. Okay. Nice. <laughs> Another one gives his unit the Filner Pain 5 plus ability. Oh, this again. <laughs> okay. 
So again, you can have two units basically. Twenty with, crusaders. Uh, Twenty crusaders <laughs> with a five up and a bane. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah, just a tad, yeah, isn't it? <laughs> um, and then if you want to switch into high gears later in the game, you can give your unit an extra AP in melee, which again is is, is very good. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Wow. Okay. But he does have a data sheet ability too. There's more. There's more. There's oh more. My. So you can pick one of those three, um, but you always get this. Okay. While he's leading a unit. They can re-roll hits in melee. Okay. So we've got our A3 rolls. We've now got his re-rolls. And there's a potential also we've got sustained hits 5 plus on a few places. Nice. Yeah. He's, yeah, he's uh, pretty good. I mean, you're going to take Grimaldas and Helbrecht, I think, yeah. in your list. And how could you not? They're great. They're great models. They're, yeah, fantastic um, miniatures, but also fantastic rules to go with it. Yeah. So glad to see that named characters are feeling the part. Yes. You know, they should yes. be these epic heroes. They've been through so much more than the rest of them. They shouldn't just be a different version of that. And it, I think it's so great to see that both Helbrecht and Grimaldus are yeah. really good. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, so, yeah, a, a few other units that do work well with the Black Templars, um, we've mentioned this one a couple of times, is the Land Raider. Yeah. Um, I quite like, well, most variants of the Land Raiders will work. Mm -hmm. um, the Redeemer is especially good. Um, because I've obviously got those flamers, um, and in addition has a capacity of 14. Okay. Um, so you could take Grimaldus and a 10-person unit, because oh, yeah. he's got three servitors with him. Oh, of course, yeah. So. Yeah, so that would make the unit 10 uh, in size. Yeah. Uh, so you could put them in a Land Raider. Um, you probably want Grimaldus walking up the field, though, because he does activate his ability in the command phase. Yeah, exactly. You want him on the table so you yeah. can use that ability. Yeah. But Land Raiders are super tough. Um, two plus save. Toughness 12, 16 wounds, um, and of course, you can put Hellbrett and your, your sword brethren in there, and uh, they can charge after they've disembarked, after the land raiders moved. Yes, so very good. Gives you great reach with the army. Um, and then, you know, a few other units you might want to look at, uh, potentially the Judicia. Yeah. Um, even a Judicia with 20 Crusaders, because the Judicia gives your unit fight first. Yes. Which means that oh. <laughs> you're going to fight at the start of the fight phase, the yeah. first step. No matter um, what. No matter what, um, because you always start with the player whose turn is not taking place. Yeah. So if your opponent charges you, your 20 Crusaders and Judicia are going to hit them before they get to hit you. Wow. Okay. So there's you know, any ways you can manipulate the fight phase, Black Templars is the army for it. I love that. And... It's, again, it's great to see, you know, them being, you know, obviously they had a release a few years ago, um, and I hope that we get to see so many more of these awesome models. Yeah, right? absolutely, absolutely. Um, um, yeah. Well, I guess with that in mind, we talk about units, talk about enhancements, strategies, mm -hmm. data sheets, all the faction stuff. I guess we'll just do a quick bit about the old mission play. Yes, yeah, mission play, Black Templars. It's an army that's very easy to get carried away, <laughs> taking like six different units, yeah. uh, and that's it with just like characters everywhere, mm. massive units. Obviously you've got these 20 person squads, right? Mm. Um, but you do still need some tactical flexibility, um, take a few little other units. <laughs> um, we've got some eradicators here just for some dedicated anti-tank um, because the anti-tank melee options aren't amazing. Mm. Um, but you could look at um, uh, sort of dual purpose units like Dreadnoughts, the Redemptors are very mm -hmm. good. Um, I personally love the Brutalis, which does come with multi melters, so um, very thematic for the Black Templars. The old feel no pain on that. Yeah, yeah. Um, it should be mentioned as well. Of course, you can't have psychers in the Black Templar army, so you leave the librarians at home, um, and you'll notice as well with the Black Templars index, they've got a data sheet for all of the repulsors, gladiators, and impulsors. Yes, that's because they can have multi melters, mm -hmm. whereas the normal space range index. Um, vehicles equivalents can't have multi melters. So, so, another yeah. bonus, right? Another bonus, yeah. yeah just have a few multi melters. Yeah, just a bit of anti tank on those vehicles that you know sometimes you wouldn't expect from like the Impulsor, yeah. but probably definitely would from the Repulsor, right? Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, that's that's Black Templars uh, in 10th edition. Uh, we hope you've learned a lot from this video uh, and drop uh, a like, subscribe, uh, and leave a comment for what your favourite unit for the Black Templars army yeah. is. And we'll see you all in another video soon. We wouldn't have been able to do any of these battle reports or any of this preview content without the help of Games Workshop, so a massive, massive thank you for sending us all of our preview copies so we can share with you. And if you do enjoy this content, please like and subscribe, and make sure you tune in for more Warhammer 40k 10th edition battle reports and content.